Good morning, everyone. It's December 24th, 2021, and we are testing FSD Beta 10.8, which has the Christmas update and the new UI in Model 3, which is very similar to the new 2021 Model S and X. So we're doing test loop one to see how things have changed. Some uh, obvious changes up here in the display for the driver, and also you can now do this and get the full display to in 500 the visualization. Feet, turn right onto Plum Canyon Road. So this has been slowing down for this vehicle on 10.6 as well. I think it's just keeping an eye on that vehicle, now the large vehicle right parked there. Plum Canyon Road. So here we go, right turn on Plum Canyon. Looks like we have a little bit of traffic already this morning. Okay, so three, two, this I3 is the last one. It should go now. It's wide open. It's taking a long time to decide still. Okay, there it goes. I want to send that in because it took a little longer. I did not intervene in any way there. Unfortunately, it's still missing that 45 sign. smooth deceleration. There's the blind spot camera. Forgot to mention that back there. I'm sure you all noticed it. It's interesting. It's starting to take the right a little sooner, which is nice. It's all clear. It could go. There's no one behind me, so I'm letting this go. Okay, it's taking too long. I'm just going to give it a tap. There we go. Okay, so it's still slowing for this intersection that isn't an intersection, so I just gave it a tap. approach to this left. I'm a little hesitant there, but it went. Actually, I'm just going to send that one in because it looks like it was confused by those cars turning right. Okay, what are we going over the speed bump? There we go. We see the speed bump. 17 miles an hour. Nice. There's another car in the and it's proceeding because it's our turn. Now let's see how it handles this stop sign if it still needs to creep forward for visibility. Yeah, it's there. Still has to creep forward. There's no one around. I want to see what this does. Yeah, it's had a really long time here. Okay. Another speed bump. In 500 feet, there it is. turn left onto Copper Hill Drive. 17 miles an hour seems to be the speed now. It's probably going to creep forward for visibility on this one. This one I'm going to give it a tap to make it go if it takes too long. Yep, there's a tap. Now turn left onto Copper okay, Hill Drive. Okay, last speed bump. There we go. Now let's see how it handles the stop sign. further. It's kind of slowly approaching the stop sign. Okay, I've got a car coming from the right. It should probably wait and it's waiting. You can go after this car. There we go. Should go now. Okay, I'm tapping because it didn't go. Just checking for visibility again. waypoints because I can't set a waypoint on the road. 
it will want to turn in and then continue on. So I'm just going to add it after the fact, like I usually do. Some rain, let's see when it starts asking me. So you can swipe this out of the way if you don't need it. And it's nice because it comes back when you start the turn here. go and I haven't had to intervene on this one yet there we go made me a liar previously it would bring that camera back but it didn't this time slight hesitation there to accelerate I've seen that before I'm not sure why it's doing that all those cars until they lined up in front of this one and then it removed the visualizations. It's still not remembering and showing cars it just saw. There, they're coming back as they get visual lock on them again. Which lanes are going to pick today? Right now left turn. turn left onto Blue K Canyon Road. I got rid of the swipe along the bottom. Interesting. Okay, so how do I... That must all be under here now, okay. So I'm guessing I have to go to here and service to see my tire pressures. that's right there. Two is still the closest setting for following distance.
the dodge of Glen Canyon Road. Let's see if it makes this right turn better. No. Snap there for a second, and then it canceled the move over. Now turn right onto Glen Canyon Road. Unfortunately, no oncoming traffic right now, but nicely done. So that's test loop one with FSD beta 10.8.